Hello everyone! Happy Friday! It's Friday! I'm super excited. Um, <clears throat> another day for me to embrace um, what God is, is trying to tell me um, and what God has been doing in my life. I'm going to start this song. I absolutely love it. I'm probably going to dance a little bit. Don't know yet. But it's just talking about within the mix of everything, we don't need to fear because God is here with us. And he knows what we're going through. He, he gets it. He understands there's a reason why there is something going on in your life. And whether it is something bad that the, the devil's got going on in your life, and, and then it will reveal uh, God's true love and mercy for you. Um, or if it's, you know, just God changing your path. Um, but we know he's here with us. So I love this song. Uh when darkness seems to win where are you now oh, say hello when you pop in please so i can see you guys crumbling. i'm gonna try and do a yoga oh, while I, once i'm done I, <laughs> we'll see how much time i, I have hear you say, I hear you say, I want her album so bad. Do you guys want to? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, do you like uh, Warren Diego? Have you guys been into her? Give me some heart. You know, and if you're on the replay, you have to replay. So give me a shout out. It's just continue to look up, continue to just experience his, his Holy Spirit. Um, so some things happen and right another day, of course, something happened, but, um, you know, I realized that it's very hard to pray for someone without judging about that person about why you are praying for them or <clears throat> maybe like the circumstances you feel that they have more um, control over what they think that they have or maybe it's even yourself maybe uh, you feel that you don't have enough power in yourself to do it or um, maybe you're not knowledgeable maybe it, it wasn't the right time in your life yet you know I am um, 
there's so many people on here, so it's, it's hard to, like, kind of filter this out. But, um, you know, I think it's very important for us to keep in mind, stay humble, and to know that everybody has a different chapter they're going through in their life. And everybody has different... Um, different things coming their way in life. So, as I would say, God has a plan for each and every one of us. And for me to say that I did something in the past and won't do it again, um, it's not right for me to say to somebody, look, that's something that you do when you're young. Like, that's something you do when you're you being you're being foolish or you know you're getting off track or something like that like it's not right for us to say that because you don't know what God is working in their life and what is going to 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 hit them and get them to understand God's love and mercy so i will just go into <clears throat> today is april 5th it says let me fill you See, I'll have to show you. I always like to show you guys. April 5th there. Let me fill you with my love, joy, and peace. These are glory gifts flowing with my living from my living presence. Through you, though you are an eastern vessel, I design you to be filled with heavenly contents. Hey, good morning, Kim. I design you to be filled with heavenly content. Your weaknesses is not a durant. Basically, it's saying it's not it's not here to discourage you, um, to bring, but to be filled with my spirit. On the contrary, so your problems, what you're doing, <clears throat> or what could be going on around you. Um, but on the contrary, it provides an opportunity for my power to shine forth more brightly. And a lot of us do that. We, um, or we can see through others that a lot of people, they, they go through something and then they're like, oh my goodness, I need the Lord. I need him. I don't feel right. There's something telling me that he's tugging on my heart today. <clears throat> Let me talk to him. Let me pray about this. And so, um, basically, and a lot of us, we have to be taken away and maybe even humiliated for us to see that we need the Lord. And so, in a lot of people, that's what he has to do in their life is make something bad happen or make them do something bad before they are able to see and embrace his love. So, it's almost like... Um, you know, when we're kids and we're in trouble, we're little babies, like my son does it all the time, where <clears throat> he'll do something purposely, like on and on, like keep doing it just to see my reaction. And then once I give him that stern no, or you are not allowed to, t to, to play with this anymore, or you know, this is being taken away from you, that type of thing, then he's always like, oh, I'm so sorry, mommy, I love you, I'll never do it again. You know, we do that. It, it's just part of our nature. And um, I think that's really important that, you know, we have an amazing God, and for him to always nurture us and take care of us and give his, um, his love and mercy to us is just incredible. <clears throat> okay, and then it says, as you go through this day, trust me to provide you strength and you need moment. You need moment by moment. Don't waste energy wondering whether you are adequate for today's journey. My spirit within you is more than significant to handle Whatever, uh, whatever this day may bring. That is the basics of your confidence. In quietness, spending time alone with me, and confident trust, relying on my significance, is your strength. So, <clears throat> um, this world is just rough on me right now and I feel like we always when we get closer to the Lord we have um is when the devil starts chasing after us 
And I mean, he throws any way, anything in our path that will make us stumble. And um, so today, I just I want to take um, I want to take my judgment away, and I want to put God's judgment in my heart, and I want to keep looking up to Him. Today, I'm looking up to Him. Yesterday I was looking up to him and I want to forever be looking up to him and know that no matter what I'm going through, even if it is going, if, if I'm having to go through something and I'm seeing it clearly, but I'm going through it and I'm being that strong, uh, I guess God's child, like you're being strong mm -hmm. as a Christian, mm -hmm. other people see that and they will start to come back to those ways. I mean, that's just like if you go um, to a club all the time, you're going to end up acting like you belong in the club. Um, but if you go to church, uh, or if you even, I mean, it's like with anything. Like if I go to a Spanish house, I'm going to end up having their accent because I've been around them for so long. So that's the same sense. If you are around people that are constantly sinful, then you are going to become sinful. You will see that that is, you're, you're allowing it to be okay. Then once it's okay, then it's, you stumble into, this is good, this is good, this is great, you know, like... Hold on one second. So I'm gonna have to hop off here, but I just want to take you guys and I wanna I wanna just say today, we are children of the Lord, and no matter what we are going through, no matter what choices we make, we can always run back to Him. We can always count on Him. He has a plan for us, and I know that God is working in our lives. So as we continue to go grow closer to him, you have to know that the devil's there with you. So you are going to have to fight him off. You're going to have to. You're going to have to say no. You're going to have to take away your desires and put God's desires in your heart. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'm going to try and do a yoga in a little bit, but I have to run out of here. I've got some sales to make. Thank you guys so much for your orders. Um... But I hope you all have a beautiful Friday, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.